His school teacher is currently going viral all across social media because he allowed his middle school students to unbraid his hair and this has sparked a lot of controversy. In this very controversial video, this teacher stated that he had a hair appointment immediately after school and he needed to unbraid his hair before the appointment, so he decided to ask some of his students to actually help him unbraid his hair. In the video, he stated that he would have done this himself, but it just would have taken way too long and he likely would have missed his hair appointment. So this is exactly why he decided to ask his students to help him in the first place. And a lot of people just have very mixed opinions about this. Some people feel like this is very inappropriate for a teacher to do. And other people feel like there was nothing wrong with this at all. I've seen a lot of people on social media saying that this teacher actually got fired because he allowed his students to do this. Now I can't 100% confirm that, but it does seem like to me based on the TikTok videos that he has recently been making, it seems like he has been suspended because of all this. This is definitely a very interesting situation and in my opinion I feel like this was not very appropriate for this teacher to allow his young students to do this. I don't think he had ill intentions in my opinion, but I'm curious to know your thoughts about all this. And P.S. We also fed fed your kids for you, and my kids are my animals that are at the school and logging before I tweak out. It's something that I say to them when they get on my nerves. So thank you. But you still got a lot of unpacking to do, so you should probably go sit on someone's couch, or even like we're doing in this video, go touch some grass. Probably do you some good. Take care. TikTok, I need your help with something. I'd like to ruin someone's day. For those who may not know me, my name is Mr. White. Well, my name is Marquise, but Mr. White is what my students call me because I'm a middle school science teacher in Prince George's County, Maryland. I try my best not to expend energy on stupid shit, but today was one of those days where I simply couldn't resist. Some of you may have seen this video. I posted on my Instagram, posted on my TikTok as well, but it's just a video of me uh, having a couple interactions with my students during class. When I posted it on my Instagram, this extremely disturbed and delusional individual decided to leave this comment under said video. Let us read. These men, referring to me, be teaching high school because they be watching eggplant emoji, peach emoji, them young girls. My first question is, what would possess someone to leave a comment such as this under a video from a person you don't even know? Like, what, what the hell is wrong with people? This was my response to this delusional individual. First off, what the fuck is wrong with you? Two, not even high school. I'm a middle school science teacher. Case in point, literally doesn't even know me from a can of paint. And three, what the hell do I look like preying on young girls? I've seen far too many scandals involving teachers having inappropriate relations with their students. This is some shit that strikes a special nerve in me because this is not the time that I'm on with my students in my school. I proceeded to tell said delusional individual, you're sick. Get the f out of here with that malarkey. Out here trying to make a difference and be a positive influence and you're spewing this dumb Please excuse my language, but <laughs> I gotta let it out. Ms. Delulu responded, you out here trying to make a positive difference or you trying to use cool point as a teacher to go viral. And to answer number three, you look like a predator with little ass grades. I don't, I don't even know. I don't know what predators look like and I don't know what from this video gave off predatory vibes doesn't make any sense as far as trying to use cool points as a teacher to go viral I'm just myself and I post videos and they go up simple as that this really royally pisses me off because I've realized that teaching is part of my purpose here on this planet it's what I'm supposed to be doing in this life and I think I'm pretty good at it as well I didn't become a teacher to gain approval or to impress young children. I'm not even going to go through the rest of these because this is going to piss me off all over again. But if you care to read, my Instagram is linked in my profile, so feel free to jump over there. But now to the point of this video. I'd like to show Miss Donald Trump's granddaughter that she picked the right one to mess with today. So if you rock with me, please feel free to hop over to Instagram and type in Donald Trump's granddaughter and leave her the most heartfelt message that uh, she's seen in her life. Always remember that you'll never be criticized by someone doing more than you. You'll always be criticized by someone doing less. And if you have haters such as uh, Miss Donald Trump's granddaughter, nine times out of ten that means you're doing something right. 
I didn't become a teacher to have inappropriate relationships with my students. I became a teacher to assist in the molding of the minds of the youth so they can be upstanding uh, ethical citizens as they go onward and upward in their lives. That being said, again, Donald Trump's uh, granddaughter. So uh, thanks for listening. Love you. Bye. On stupidity and ignorance, but today I got a little time, so let's let's deal with it. All right, so I live streamed a couple of my classes this morning here on TikTok, um, and we had over 130,000 people in the live, which is crazy. But there were a lot of disgusting things said in the comments, so I wanted to make this video to address it. So many people had a problem with this baklava that I have on, so I'm going to address that first. First off, people were stressing about this mask more than the admin in my school. If the admin in my school was not tripping about me wearing this mask, why on earth are you all so worried about it? I'm fortunate to work in a school where the admin is super chill. We do have a dress code, but the dress code is pretty lax. As long as you're not in a school looking crazy, they don't mind. Me personally, I don't like to dress up. If I'm up here teaching, I want to be comfortable when I'm doing it. So yeah, you're going to see me rocking a hoodie, some jeans, some cargos. I love graphic tees. I love anime shirts. Today, it's chilly outside. It was 35 degrees and I woke up this morning. I came in school. My classroom was pretty chilly. So I kept my mask on. Uh, but me wearing this mask does not affect my efficiency as a teacher. I'm still teaching. This has nothing to do with what I'm teaching. I understand if I'm up here with a 40 ounce in a brown paper bag with a jack in my hand and saying MF for this, MF for that, but I'm literally just wearing a mask and teaching my class. It's not affecting me as a teacher. If anything, it's approving my effectiveness as a teacher because the students see that and they think this is cool. You know how many comments I got say on this mask? I'm like, oh yeah, Mr. White with the shiesty, uh. Like, they feel like they can connect with me and that in itself renders you a very effective teacher. Someone, someone even went as far as like, oh my God, you should, you're so unprofessional, you should have your teaching card revoked. Sweetheart, let me remind you that we're 2023, close to 2024. Times are different. Schools aren't the same as they were 60 years ago. So not everyone is coming to school with a freaking tuxedo on. If I'm coming to school and my school allows for it, I'm going to be as comfortable as possible because I'm up here teaching middle school. So if you got middle schoolers, if you know middle school children of that age group, you know that they're, they are insane. So I'm going to be comfortable while I'm dealing with insanity. That's just the bottom line. People, people are coming in the comments like, oh, he's a thug. This is what's wrong with the generations now because this, oh, this, these are the teachers. We're doomed. Y'all are coming over here, y'all are coming in alive and stereotyping someone you don't even know, which leads me to one of the biggest problems in the world. It's one of the first things you learn in school when you're growing up. Some of you clearly weren't taught that. Some of y'all parents did a job at raising you, but that's, that's a conversation for another day. But the golden rule, treat others how you want to be treated. If you don't have anything nice to say, right, don't say it at all. So y'all are coming in alive, don't even know me, don't even know who I am, but you see the mask on and you automatically assume I'm like a degenerate. A baklava is worn for cold weather. Not because I have oppositions, I don't have enemies, at least not that I know of, but I'm not walking around trying to cover or hide my identity because I got people after me. It's cold, so I'm rocking a baklava. Uh, people literally have nothing else better to do with their lives than to make other people feel as miserable as they do. That's a lesson that I teach my students. You will never be criticized by someone doing more than you. You'll only be criticized by someone doing less. It's 2023. My generation, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a millennial. We're, in my opinion, we're saving education. We are single-handedly saving education. Us cool, young, hip teachers, are saving education. There are bigger problems in the world than a teacher doing what he's supposed to do up here with a baklava on. There's more important issues that we can spend our time talking about than a teacher who's actually impacting the lives of countless students. The, the main idea of this video is to live and let live. If what someone else is doing is not affecting their own safety or the well-being or safety of someone or something else, then why the hell does it matter? So maybe some young millennial teachers can defend me in the comments. We're a different breed of teachers, but you know what? God damn it, we're getting the job done and the students are loving us. Y'all are talking about my mask, like, oh, this is why I, this is why kids are the way they are today. Do you know that there's simply a connotation, and for people who don't know what that means, it's just like an implied meaning of a word or a thing. People see these masks and automatically think, like, he's on some thug life gangster stuff. I am the complete opposite. I've never even gotten a speeding ticket. Literally never even gotten a speeding ticket. So, uh, again, the stereotypes, the assumptions, they see a black man with a baklava on, he's automatically on thug time. People were coming for me like, oh my gosh, this, these are the teachers nowadays? No wonder why these kids are the way they are. First off, y'all wouldn't last a day in here with my worst class you wouldn't last a minute in here with these with the with, with, with these students we're out here doing god's work especially the educators who are around my age i'm 27 years old uh especially the educators around my age we're literally out here making a difference we are making a difference students are connecting with us y'all worry about how, how how i look but not talking about my efficacy as a teacher if i was a bs teacher up here thugging it out and just being a degenerate i wouldn't have gotten teacher of the month last month wouldn't have gotten that i wouldn't constantly get praise and accolades from my administration right? I wouldn't have the highest test scores in the whole entire county for science. You can't get this being up here, being a degenerate, but this is a big reason why I do what I do to eliminate stereotypes. Cause you see me, Ooh, he's got a shiesty. He's tatted up all over. He's got jeans, cut jeans on. Oh, he's just a gangster. He's waiting on, 
He's trying to hit a lick or something, bro. I, I'm cold and I want to be comfortable. Don't judge a book by its cover. Don't, don't, don't judge a book by its cover. Come at me if I was up here in Hoochie Daddy shorts and a stringer tank top with my mitts out, my man tits, but I'm not. I'm covered up. Uh, and yeah, like I said, we got a pretty laxed uh, dress code here. So if I don't have to dress up every single day, there's rare occasions where I might throw in a button down shirt, some slacks and a, and a tie, but I don't like to dress like that. I like to be comfortable when I'm up here teaching. So that's what I'm gonna do as long as they allow, uh, as long as they allow it. So uh, if you're miserable, get your own life together. Stop trying to make other people miserable and talk about them. All the comments that I was getting kind of just rolled off my, just rolls off my skin. Cause at the end of the day, I know that hurt people hurt people. Miserable people want to make other people feel miserable. Misery loves company. So that's just a, a life lesson that y'all can take with you. Um, to all my young educators out there, hey, you're doing God's work. I'm proud of you. Thank you. You deserve the world. You deserve a raise. You deserve to be amongst the highest paid individuals in the state because of the work that we're doing here. People don't understand what it comes or what comes with being an educator in today's world. These students today are unhinged. They're unhinged, a lot of them. Not all of them. A lot of them are just unhinged. And a lot of it is due to parenting. So people at home, yeah, I, that, that's a conversation for another video. But some, like I said, like just like some of the people in the comment section earlier, some of these parents are doing a shit job raising their kids. And that's why they're in here acting crazy. But that's where I step in and try to be a positive force to, to impart a little bit of wisdom uh, in the minds of the youth so they can grow up to be moral, ethically just citizens that don't degrade the planet more than it already is. So with that being said, we just got to do better. Love you. Bye.